Welcome guys to another Raysha Legends video on the Freebrew account. It's day 35 today. We got a ring, a uh, five-star ring. It was a Dark Elf, so uh, nothing too crazy. I don't really have Dark Elves. I only have um, Spirit Host. So tomorrow we're getting a another Ancient Shard. And tomorrow starts another 10x. Um, I've, I've made another video on the 10x if you want to check that out, guys. But I'm probably going to save my Ancient Shard. There's no reason to summon, honestly, for those champions. Even if I get one of them, it won't be an amazing change to my account and honestly i have so many champions to work on to get to level 60 that i definitely need to just focus on these and then you know pray for anything from shards again because i have at least one two three champions four that i can take to six star um and carry me you know uh with the game um but i really need champions to carry me for fire knight Maybe something with a tag down that's not just Iron Brago, but honestly, he can work in in the Ice Golems ju uh, just as well. Uh, Fire Knight is going to be the biggest issue. Maybe if we get a Cold Heart, but the Void Shards are so difficult to get. Uh, anyway, guys, day day 35, 35 is in the Free Brew account, 35 days in the Free Brew account. Uh, nothing too special today. Again, farming as usual, just saving all this energy. I'm also going to get some more some more uh, energy through this because I'll finish off the daily uh, login quest. So let me just feed these. I usually try to level up the the one stars, but I have so many mystery shards um, saved up so far that they just take too much space and I need to feed these um, rather than just use energy to level these up. For now, if I were very low on mystery shards, I will be leveling those up. But for now, uh, this is just uh, using all my... One star to get a two star going. So I have 148 mystery shards. Somehow managed to get all those. I'm saving those because that's a good amount of points when an event comes up. But I'm saving these for a specific event, event which is usually 2x summon events. Um, the next one is 2x on next Friday. So I have nothing. No shards. Uh, I'll get one maybe during the weekend. Yeah, so in eight days from now. But again, I don't think I'll I'll be able seven days. Yeah, seven or eight days I'll get the the void shard. I don't think I'll get any other uh, way to get void shards. I mean, uh, I think you can get from the, from from clan boss, but not from hard. I did try to do one key on brutal yesterday. I did about five million damage, so I'm not there yet to do doing at least one key right here. Maybe if I do two keys, I'll get the guardian chest which the guardian chest is this one right here. So the end one for the hard boss. So if if the clan was farming brutal, I would be doing brutal and try to get uh, as close to the master's chest as possible, which is probably something that's going to give me really good rewards compared to whatever I'm getting here. So if I'm doing four keys on brutal and hopefully getting grandmaster chest, I would be so happy because brutal is where the epic skill books come, the uh, void shards come. Definitely going to be a really, really solid for me once I can start doing Brutal. But I think that's that's maybe a week away, um, considering I'll need to get a, at least another one um, six star going. Wow, I dropped. Oh, man, I dropped. I dropped to Bronze 4. I was going to show you guys the uh, Silver 1 farming, but I honestly just dropped to... Uh, I dropped to Bronze 4. Damn, man. I just started farming some silver tokens. I still have the mission. Uh, if you guys remember the missions, I'm still stuck on this one. 34 out of 50. I need 16 more wins in silver just to progress through. And I'll be able to just go all the way. I think I'll be stuck next on... Uh, which one's going to be the worst one for me to get stuck on? I think it's going to be an arena one. Defeat 50 champions in Classic Arena. That, I won't get stuck on that one. Um, unlock three tier 2 champions. Uh, masteries. Yeah, that's going to be fine. I think the next one I'll be st stuck on is this one. Upgrade a Great Hall bonus to level 4. That's uh, 400 silver tokens. So, uh, yeah, I'll be able to do another 20 or so missions until I get to this one. But <laughs> it's going to be a pain getting all those silver tokens. I barely have like uh, 40 right now. Uh, in the uh, in the great hall, I I did a ton of spreading around of my of my great hall because I was stuck for so long in bronze. Now that I'm starting to get some silver, I'm saving these as much as I can, and uh, I'm going for the accuracy one. So get the accuracy as high as possible. 
So, um, just before we get to anything, let me finish up the dailies. We gotta beat a campaign boss three times. Uh, so what I do guys is I, I'll just go here. I also have multi bottles left, but I'll show you what I do using blue stacks. I want to show you blue stacks guys because I have a goal this month to reach 350 downloads. So I'm mostly using blue stacks when I'm uh, playing, you know, on the free brew account. So I have many macros and this definitely helped me um, to just play this game as as efficiently as possible. I have so many macros, which macros are basically recording your clicks and then just spamming that um, that recording as many times as you want or as often as you want. So I have ones for uh, farming two stars, three stars, four stars, five stars, just spamming the repeat button. I've got one for gear selling. I've got one for arena farming. I've got one for upgrading items and then selling them. I've got one for three, three fights. And I also have some uh, some other ones which are depending on what you're doing. So here we're just going to do the normal one, which is I'll show you record a new one. That's it. That's the recording done. I just clicked the repeat button and then I go here and press uh, repeat forever. And that's it. Basically, this macro will be re um, just spamming that repeat button forever until I stop it or how many. However many times as well. Um, guys, Bluestacks is just an amazing program. Um, I'm just an affiliate with them. They give me some kickback whenever somebody downloads, but they like they say that if you reach 350 downloads, um, they'll get you up a tier. I've never went up a tier so far, uh, but maybe with your help, we can reach this this month. I know it might be hard. We only have four weeks in this month, um, much less days. So you'll see the repeat right now. Definitely helps me out with the game because I usually just do maybe um, some play on on blue stacks on my free brewer account and then play on the platinum play on my main account so I can have both of those open. But I just wanted to show you this, guys. If it if it interests you to download the game, then do so. So uh, I'm not gonna spam it any longer than this. I want to just do three fights. So uh, you saw the repeat there, and I'll delete this one because I have this one uh, already. So let me put it back on full screen. And uh, just Gallic trying to farm here. Honestly, should have should have tried Althar and see if Althar can farm this. But nice, we got a five star there. I've been farming this stage, the life steal stage today, and the last two days that I have the XP boost going. So we get the ten gems here, and then we get another XP boost, another ancient shard. This is day thirty-five, so yeah, uh, we get the full-on complete quest reward. So I've got two more refreshes here. Another 400 energy here. I'm ready for a fusion. It's the maximum I can save, honestly, as a as a free account. I also have the one um, the one refresh we get every I don't know three days. The free gift from us to you. It shows now. It used to show as a pack purchase before, but now they changed it. I think the the last two or three weeks. But um, that's how I'm saving my energy. Uh, challenges I've never went into these since. Um, I've reached this stage, so there's gonna be this void, which I should be able to try, but I'll, I'll need to get some accessories going on three, um, on all three slots for a champion, and then do these ones, but they're not really interesting, they're, they're gonna cost me a lot of silver, but it's so annoying, uh, getting, getting these, uh, I'll get a sacred shard, it's honestly so annoying, some of these are, are so annoying because they want you to get three, five star or six star artifact set. So you can't use a four star bonus. You can only use two star bonuses. And honestly, I don't have that many um, two star bonuses right now. I'm focusing on life seal sets instead of anything else. So the life seal sets that I have uh, been farming is five stars here. Look at this. Uh, another five star there. I'll keep that one. This one's a four star. I'll, I'll keep it five star and then another four star flat defense. That's going to sell. So these are common items. Unfortunately, these are common items. But um, what I wanted to do in this video, I'll, I'll show you what the lifesteal set gives to a champion who also has masteries. So none of my champions who has masteries, so Iron Brago or Athar, have a lifesteal set so far. The only one is Gallic, but he doesn't have masteries, the full mastery. So I'll show you the difference that it makes for Althar to have full masteries. And unfortunately, um, I'll be wasting a bit of my silver. No, it's, well, it's not going to be a waste, but... Uh, it's definitely not going to be as useful as uh, as saving it for a specific 
um, event. So I did get a, wait, didn't I get a defense one? Yeah, four star defense chest right here. Um, I'm going to level this just to 12, not to 16, of course, just because it's a nice upgrade to my champion and then a five star glove with the defense. So all these will help my Arthur survive a bit longer, uh, although his speed uh, dropped. I'll show you how I use blue stacks to just uh, level up gear very, very fast. So I'll put this to 12. So on blue stacks, there is this button right here on the, on the right. It's called eco mode. I just press this one, guys. Just activate eco mode. It basically just drops the, the FPS of the game, the frame rates. And just notice how fast the, um, the upgrades are going. Just see my silver up at the top. I'll get all these to 12. So I get a few points as well for the artifact enhancement event we're going on right now. Uh, so it's not a total waste, but only to 12. Maybe the boots I'll get to 16. Uh, although I'm getting so low on silver that it's going to make my life so difficult to uh, to do something in, in the case of a fusion. But probably I won't be able to do a fusion at the stage where I'm at right now. I can't farm high end dungeons, so I'm not as efficient as I should be. So maybe going for epic champion instead of a legendary for the free brew is the better choice. So now it's stuck a little bit, but I think this is just a bug. This is not blue stacks being stuck. I think it's the game being stuck. So yeah, there it is. Now it's speed up. I wish this was the normal speed uh, that we had in game for upgrades. It would have made my life so much easier in general. Um, I wouldn't need to use blue stacks to upgrade my items, but that's what I use currently to upgrade them. And it saves me so much time, especially for level 16s, because level 16s take three times as, as long. Uh, as usual. So look at this. So I'm down about 600k right now. Getting so bad substats. No speed substats so far. Hopefully this one's speed or something. Come on. HP percent. That's okay. And then the boots. Um, yeah, we're a bit low on silver. So I might not do the boots. Although I think he needs it. Just so he can be at around 150 speed. Uh, let me check the artifact enhancement events. How close I am to the next reward. And then uh, artifact enhancement. Yeah, I can get 100 energy here. That's good. That's good. But that's only 50 points away. Um, yeah, I'll sell, say, save my silver. Even though I get a rare skill tome if I fully do this. Um, I have rare skill tomes. I have 21. So, uh, yeah. Doing 1 million silver just to get a rare skill tome is not that worth it. I'll, I'll get the remaining 50 points. 100 energy would be quite good for me and I'll save this and the way to save the energy through the artifact enhancement guys event is to not pick it up so you'll see this here but don't pick it up when you see it glowing when you do get the points just leave it there once the event is over so one day after it's actually over it's going to be totally over it's going to disappear the reward won't disappear it's just going to go to your mailbox for six days and it's going to have a name um, just event reward and you, you're going to be able to redeem it in the next uh, six days. So now that my Althar has a lifesteal set, I wonder if he can also do uh, some farming. So let's try him in the lifesteal stage at least and try him against the shield stage because these ones, these are spirits. So he's probably going to be in trouble. Um, he's not a multi-hitter like an AOE hitter. As, uh, as Galag is. So let's put him alone since he's going to benefit the most anyway. If he gets full experience. So let's see if, if life still saves him here. So look at that A2 by the way. Definitely when you go crit rate that helps with the, with his A2. But now we do need some some life back. Come on Arthur. There's that A2. Healed him all, almost to full. Oh, We're going to be in trouble here. Uh, some poisons, it's fine. We've got some res resists going. And there we go. There's the A2. Big heals coming. I think wave 2 will, will be fine. But is he not using his A3? Oh, there's, there's the A3. Okay. Oh, commanders do ally attacks. Come on, please survive. Okay, we killed one. Yeah, definitely going to be a close one. We got some healing back. There's a kill. I don't have masteries. Ooh. Ah, see, so close. If I did have uh, some other masteries, maybe for healing, when you kill an enemy, then uh, we would have had it. But uh, it was so close. I wasn't this close before I got my lifesteal 
lifesteal gear going. So let's check him out in the clan boss and see what the difference in damage is going to be. Oh, man. Oh, this is going to suck. Um, he's going to be weak affinity. I'll, I'll be showcasing weak affinity. Let's do... Let's do one key on Brutal. Am I going to have enough for tomorrow? Um, mm. Let's do on Brutal. Okay, I did 5 million yesterday. We'll try out Brutal and see if we can do over 5. So that's that's going to be the test. Um, let's just put this on Auto. Arthur is very slow right now because of the boots not being level 16. Uh, that's the first thing that's going to be upgraded when I do have an actual event that I need to, the points for. And... Yeah, this is, this is my clan boss team, honestly, for the next, I don't know how long. Next one getting a level 60 is probably going to be Apothecary. I think he needs it. Or or Saito. Um, both are going to be good for my teams. But Saito with Masteries is going to be so much more helpful than Apothecary with Masteries. I covered this before. It's because Apothecary is just a healing machine. His survivability only changed, honestly, with the level 60 compared to what Saito would do at level 60 plus Masteries with comparing him at level 50 to level 60 plus Masteries. Yeah, so um, we're doing good so far. So about five turns in, two million damage. We need to survive um, about the same, at least to get the first key going. Look at all those poisons going for three turns because of the Masteries on uh, Althar. Definitely a solid choice, I think. I would say, and if guys, if I see that I can actually now farm Minotaur 15, then um, yeah, we'll be at a very good, very good point to start farming Minotaur instead of anything else um, on the daily. Instead of gear, I'll be going Minotaur, get as many masteries as I can on everyone, except maybe Galak. <laughs> except maybe Galak, and uh, we'll see how that goes. I did gear up my, my Saito. And I'll show you guys next after this. So I did use Saito today because of Undead Hordes. But um, Apothecary is down. So we need about half a mil. Althar is still standing. The lifestyle set that I told you guys. Look at him now. Back to full. Honestly, very, very good. So this wouldn't, wouldn't have been the case if uh, we were on, on the Spirit. Clan boss, yeah, we're dead. 16 turns, pretty good. 5.8 million. If I do this times four, times four keys, so I only do brutal, I'll be doing a, uh, <laughs> getting the maximum reward. So I'm so happy about that. So, so happy. 35 days to get full rewards. Uh, Grandmaster chest, considering that um, I do the same damage even on affinity, which won't be the case because um, I have a mixture of affinities here. Especially magic, so if it's force, I'm doomed and I'll have way, way less damage. But Gale here is is like a zero champion, honestly, because of um, he doesn't have masteries for so long. So let's try out Minotaur and then we'll come back and see the faction wars. I'll show you Undead Hordes, okay? Undead Hordes with Saito. Um, his gear sucks, by the way. I have him on Relentless set, but he's very slow, but he has very high attack. So I'm thinking this was a mistake going Relentless set, although it's quite a good amount of critical damage. So what was I using? I was using Regeneration. No, not Regeneration. Um, I was using the counter attack Retaliation. Before, um, I think I used these boots on Arthur. HP percent. Okay, nothing too great. Let's just keep him with this one. And uh, let's try out Dungeons. And see if we can do Minotaur 15. Now that Althar has those masteries. So. Should I keep Umbral and get her some masteries? Or should I go Althar. Apothecary of course. And then Saito. Should it be Saito getting the masteries? Or should it be somebody else? Should it be Juliana? I don't think Juliana is a good choice. I think these four. These five. Are very good choices. I'll have three champions to get masteries through them. Although her, um, I don't think I'll get her to 60 anytime soon. So masteries might be dead on her. But Juliana is a very good poisoner. But if I do get like a frozen banshee, she'll be an even better poisoner. 
and help out my Althar. Um, mm, that's... Yeah, guys, help me out in the comments, always. When you see me struggling during the video, it's because I'm thinking and it's always good to have a second opinion because I'm not the best player. I know that I'm not the best player. I do have experience in the game, a lot of experience, two two years playing. But um, I might not always do the right choices because I mainly use a whale account or a an account that also gets so many benefits and so many champions that um, sometimes I don't consider a real worth uh, of a champion on a brand new account. So um, like Juliana, I wouldn't consider her anymore on my account, but on this one, she might be worth it. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just try with Juliana and see how it goes. I didn't want to get Juliana because she's going to be like my third or fourth champion that gets masteries in the in the way to getting masteries, but um, level 15 Minotaur is not easy, not easy. And I want it to be consistent, so 100% chance to do this. If it's not 100% chance, then I won't be spending my resources. Because that's going to be more of a waste than just doing the 100 gems, uh, 800 gems. Yeah. So, um, Saito, look at how slow he is. Don't think it's worth it being so slow just to get the chance for an extra turn. Although, there it is. Yeah, it doesn't do that crazy amount of damage so far. Level 50, though, and the gear is obviously not good. Okay, so he's the only one down so far. Maybe we should do Galek instead. But Galek, um, he's not going to be the long, the long term champion we need. So if these three survive on the on this on this wave, then I'll be so happy. But it's just Brago trying to carry them all with his defense up. Uh, look at how squishy Apothecary is. Honestly, because of his um, chess piece, he has a speed percent chess piece. Wait, don't I have an HP percent chess piece I can give him? I think that's going to be a hundred times better. Um, we're so in trouble here. There's no way we can beat the boss. And the two adds. Um, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get wrecked here. Yeah, there's no way Brago can do this. I like Brago. Brago is a really solid champion. I was so happy to get him, but he's nowhere near uh, soloing potential for uh, for this boss. Oh, we're so dead. We're just healing because of the offense mastery, by the way. <laughs> I don't have um, healing gear on him. Oh, we're dead. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, we don't have it yet. Uh, Minotaur 15, but we do have it in the future. So, maybe Saito, we need to change his gear. From this, give him some more speed because speed helps. But um, I was trying to do I was trying to do the, uh, the quest today, the advanced quest. I still need to defeat one Faction Wars boss to complete it for today. And that's going to give me a nice little refresh. But, um, yeah, if I don't do this, I basically lose 130 energy, 120, which I don't want to lose it. It's so much. It's 40 gems. So I'll try and see if I can do the uh, the Faction Wars boss. If not, then I'll try the Lizardman, which I'm stuck here. I use these champions for Lizardman, and uh, he is the carry for now. I don't have anything else for Lizardman that's going to be useful, but um, the boss applies a Provoke. It just doesn't let me... Uh, doesn't let me do this. Or maybe, maybe if I put in a lifesteal set on Saito, maybe he can do it. Because uh, we're stuck on st stage six. So he only has one AoE. And without any books, that AoE is a long cooldown. He's going to do it next. Let's see. Come on, Saito. Do it. Yeah, look at that. He clears the wave, but um, yeah, his speed is so low that he he doesn't get the turns. So that's that's where the speed becomes important. I honestly thought in the beginning, okay, Relentless said uh, he's got good stats, but um, he's gonna carry us through because the Relentless, uh, some of them are six stars with uh, attack percent. I thought it's gonna be great on Saito. He doesn't need all that speed. I had him over 110 speed. 
under 120. I thought it, it would be great for me to to finish off this um, this faction wars, but it's not gonna be that easy. So she counters whenever somebody gets attacked. Now I'm frozen. I'm probably dead because of this freeze. I'll lose two turns basically. Yeah. Good night. Yeah. If I didn't get frozen there, I could have done this. So yeah, more speed is needed, definitely, uh, to do this. And uh, yeah, once I do this, I'll have some more energy, which I can use for the day. And that's going to be it. I've got three more tokens. Let's do some arena uh, and get back to. Should I try and beat this team? Um, yeah, let's do some arena and tra try and get back to silver one and get those sil silver tokens. Oh, they're faster. Um, am I faster, though? Nope. Oh, yes, there's the lockdown. Um, yeah, yesterday's video, I upgraded Umbral. Lots of you guys came in there, the comments, and said, she's definitely worth it. Uh, she's definitely going to be useful. So thank you for the uh, good words. I honestly thought I, I made a huge mistake with Umbral. Um, even though I know she's great, she, she carried me in the Demon Spawn um, Faction Wars 21 and, and 20. Well, basically, all, the final few stages, but... Because my account has limited, um, ooh, dead. Because my account has limited um, resources, I don't want to be making mistakes that I shouldn't be. And if I get lucky with books, I'm so happy because it's the least amount of. Uh, wow, they're so so much faster than me. I'm I'm about 210 on high cartoon. Yeah, that's it. We're gonna stay a bit longer in bronze four until we. Uh, fine-tune our team for more arena. Maybe I'll do um, remove some of apothecaries Remove some of apothecaries um, Gear and give it to Hikatoon, but uh, look at this. This is HP percent So I'll be getting 4,000 HP on, ha on apothecary, but losing 80 defense. I think it's worth it 80 defense for 4,000 health. I think it's way worth it. I'll give another 10 defense here with the glyph I can even give him some attack lifts with this one. So I think now he's going to be way, way tankier than before. Maybe he won't get attacked as often. Wow, my silver dropped tremendously. And give High Katoon the speed. The speed chest. Um, Where's the speed chest? It's attack percent. It, it kind of sucks, but it's what we have. So if you guys missed it, my, my uh, Apothecary has... Uh, five star speed items because uh, we get them on us daily login during the first month check that video out during that specific day It's it's gonna be that episode that I actually roll the items and I do get get these uh, lucky rolls here on the on the weapon Look at this 15 plus one and then the other ones I get a single roll on them Which is fantastic honestly for a brand new account. This also needs to get upgraded the boots Maybe I'll get five star boots instead of uh, four star and that's going to be my next upgrade. Thank you guys for watching almost 28 minutes of a video. This was a bit longer. I apologize if it's annoying for some of you. Thank you guys for watching the video so far. I love that you guys enjoy this series so much. And I'll keep doing it as a daily episode for you guys. Thank you. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'll let you know if I've actually beat it the under towards. If not, then um, yeah, I'll, I'll just be sad tomorrow. <laughs> no, no, I won't be. Thank you guys. See you next one. See ya.